we didn't start cycling until we turned 70. And uh, so we've been going for 10 years now and we keep on going on. Uh, enjoy it. We started by accident being in the, in the gym at one stage on a stationary bike. I, I glanced out the window and there were two fellows younger than I am um, going somewhere on their bikes. I thought, that's sensible. So before I knew it, I had a bike and we started cycling from then. I was dragged kicking and screaming into cycling, but Adele decided that he would challenge himself to a cycle from Cape Brianga to Bluff. It came out of the blue. He asked me if I wanted to do it, and I said no, and he, he, did, he did it on his own. I thought that was the end of it, no such luck. He then came with the story that he would like to cycle the Nullarbor Plain in Australia. I thought, well, gosh, I, I was nervous enough when he was cycling Cape Brianga to Bluff on his own. I'm not going to let him do it on his own again. So I got a bike and I got going as well. The trip from Cairns to Perth was uh, right across Australia to Broome and then down the coast to, uh, to Perth. It took us a hundred days, cycling every day. We, we would go for 10, 12 days at a time and then have a couple of days rest. Uh, we had to time our distances from roadhouse or water supplies and food supplies and balance that out with how much weight we could actually carry with us to see us there. So, but it was all planned um, and took months of planning to get it right and it went pretty well. It gets you moving, um, it, it keeps you active both physically and mentally because you, you've got to think about what you're doing and how you're going to get there, it's all, all a challenge. And it's a wonderful feeling of freedom, where, every, where you, everything else is dictated to you, around you. Once you're on your bike, as long as you keep uh, you know, aware of the traffic, you're free. <laughs> you're free, aren't you? The endorphin rush is at the end of the day, but it's also at the very beginning of the day, when we're tying the trailers on and the beginning of a new day, that's exciting as well. When we were living in our own little um, townhouse in Oriwa, we were always very concerned whenever we locked up and headed for Australia for a couple of months. Coming to Ryman, we haven't had that worry at all. We just lock up and go. And not only that, we have a wonderful place to store our bikes. Honestly, when you cycle, you pay, you, you spend much more over the period of time of your trip than you would in your car. So really, it, it's, it's not expense. It's the feeling of freedom to go where you want to go. Well, often, often we have someone saying, look, you're either brave or very stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, people think we're mad. <laughs> yeah.